Hello, in this video, let's figure out the utility maximizing bundle for three goods instead of two. So the problem is a little bit different. Uh, we're going to use Google Sheets. You can actually use Excel or any other spreadsheet to calculate this. So I've got this problem. Daniel's got a budget uh, constraint of $24, as we say. And he wants to buy a, uh, good A, good B, and good C. So he wants to get the most additional utility per dollar uh, from each of those. So the the constraint that we're trying to figure out is um, we want to get we want to use this twenty-four dollars to get to a place where marginal utility divided by price from good A equals good B and equals good C. Okay. So what I need to do is figure out what is the marginal utility per uh, per dollar per price and these things have different prices so good A is two dollars, good B is three dollars, good C is one dollar. So I'm going to put those into prices two, three, and one. Okay. Now I'm going to come up here I'm going to put a formula I'm going to go equals this and I hit divide slash is the divide by that uh, that price right there and then I want to lock that cell so I'm going to hit the F4 key on the keyboard you can also put dollar signs in there and then hit enter and it's going to actually auto fill that cell. So it never change, notice it never changes B10 right there. It never changes that price. And if I change that price, then it'll update it for me. So that's why I want to leave it uh, just like that. Do the same thing. It's this divided by this one this time. And just to show you, I'm going to put in dollar signs right here. Dollar sign went in the wrong spot, so I'll delete it. Okay, and it locked in that cell right there. And then I don't like the uh, all of those decimals. So we'll just do two decimals. And our last thing here, we're going to go equals this divided by this. And then hit F4 again. And we're good. Okay. So now uh, I've got my cell and I'm going to look for a situation where this equals this equals this. So from B and C. Okay. All right. Um, and then down here what I did was I put in uh, a quantity and, and I'm going to see how much my spending is. So we can go this times this. That's how much I spent. So like if I bought Four, whoops, four units of uh, good A, and it calculated how much I spent on it. That's important because I need to know uh, my $24. So I'm going to copy this all the way down. I just took the. Took that. Oh, I don't. No. Sorry, I should have copied the formula. Copy the formula there. And then we want a total. total spending I want to add up and it actually knows what I'm doing but you can do this a couple ways you can just actually just take the cells and go like that That's three or if you'd rather use the sum function it, it's already knowing what I'm doing because it sees sees what I'm up to I just put that in parentheses and it calculated that for me okay so Let's see some combinations that would work. Okay, so 25, 25, and 25, right? That would be 1, 1, and 1. That's only spending $6. I have 24 more dollars. Okay, so now I got 20, 20, 20. Okay, so what if I spent 2, 2, 2? Let's be spending $12 or not, or Daniel rather. What about, so now I got 15. I don't have a 40 over there. So that one's a little bit weird. What about? 10, 10, and 10. Okay, so that would be four units of that, four units of that, and four units of that. Oh, well, that worked out. That's the right answer. And if you needed to show your work, you would just plug in that column of marginal utility per dollar or per price, and then and then you've got how to do that. If the price of A rises to $4, okay, so we came over here, change that price, and the budget remains unchanged. So now I've got different uh, amounts over here. Right? So now it looks like 10, 10, and 10. So we just change that to 2. Then that worked. Now it's just coincidental that it's 10. right? If it was a different amount, then, um, uh, then you 
you get different answers. Okay, can you derive Daniel's demand graph for good A based on the information provided? Actually, um, yes, you can. Okay, so what you do is you change the price here to like, what if we do, the price is one, okay? What would be the utility maximizing quantity um, for him to buy? Okay, well, let's see, would he buy five then? Yeah, he'd actually buy, he'd buy five or even more, right? So, so that would be, if you were drawing up a demand function here for just good, you could do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you're just gonna solve for how many? And actually, since this seems to be falling in linear fashion, we can probably guess that this would actually be six, uh, six units, but uh, well, we'll say it's at least five. We'll use the information we've been given, okay? All right, what if the price is two? Well, that was the answer before. That was four, I'm just plugging that in. We're only changing what's in good A, okay? If the price goes to three, now it's 28. So now we need to find, okay, we can't afford that actually. So 10, 10, and 10, we can't afford that. So what if we scale back? Um, no, 13, 13, and 10. So what if we did uh, 2 and 3? No. They get pretty close. Um, so if the price goes up to three, uh, looks like did we buy three? We could do it that way. So we'd be at ten, ten, and three. We'd be really close there. So we have three. All right, base price to four. Uh, now we're going to cut back to. Oh, I didn't raise the price. I changed the quantity. Oh, was I doing that last one wrong? I think I was. Yeah. So this would be three. Yeah. Okay. Now we definitely know that's doing it wrong. So then, if I change the price to three. And it would be here, here, and here. Yeah, that's right. So it's quantity I'm looking at. And then if I change the price, okay. I should be, you know what I'm doing wrong here? I'm, I need to follow the prices here. If the price is two, how many would I buy? Okay, so it looks like I would buy, f yeah. I'd buy four. I don't know why I'm hung up on that last one there. Okay, now we're going to change the price to three. And looks like if I did three there. Now I'm at 25. This is the paper I was hung up before. So 10, 10, and 10. And can't quite afford that last one, so we'll go with we'll go with that, right? So I can afford three, and then if the price goes up to four. Okay, so then I would buy, no, this is wrong. Okay, so 10, 10, and 10, let's see if we can afford that. So we'll go two, four, and four. I can afford that. So now it's two, and then if the price goes up to five, we want, look at this column, looks like one, four, and four. It looks like about as good as I can get there. I might increase my purchases there, but we're only looking at that first one there. So your demand curve would look like that. And that's how to do that in a spreadsheet.